Today I've made some pretty major announcements about how we're going to better protect our vulnerable children. So this is on the back of the white paper for vulnerable children, which as you know is on the back of the green paper which we consulted widely on. Uh, we've got a number of initiatives that we're introducing today. This is the legislative part. So we've already got a whole lot of work underway with children's teams which didn't need to be legislated. A new care strategy for children in care and looking at their transition for um, 17 year olds coming out of care and protection. But today is about um, a number of initiatives so let me quickly run you through them and then if you've got more interest I'm going to do a number of these that goes a bit more into depth on them as we go. Um, we're going to legislate that the chief executives of five government agencies have responsibility for vulnerable children. Ultimately, they are going to have to design a cross-agency plan that will be published that looks at the well-being of vulnerable children and they will be held accountable to it by a group of ministers. This is different and don't underestimate the power of having that kind of work going on at the top um, because we already see it happening in our communities. We're also looking at a whole new screening and vetting regime. So we will have a standardised um, screening and vetting uh, program that people can work. At the moment, it's a little bit all over the place. You know, one group of professionals use one, some voluntary organisations use others. It will be mandatory that they use these standard safety checks for government agencies and for those that contract with government. That's about 370,000 people and voluntary for other organisations, but we think they will take them up. We're also introducing new child harm prevention orders. These are a new civil order that will keep those that have either been convicted of or on the balance of probabilities have um, hurt children in the past. This will keep them away from children. So either in the home environment um, or going to swimming pools or living next to a school, etc. And we're also looking at new guardianship rights. This is for those kids that are in care. I think it's important that they still have a relationship where they can with their birth family, but too often I see those birth families actually holding the child back from thriving in their new family. So we want to give those new families, um, going through the family court process, more rights if that's what suits the individual child. And look, there's a lot in it, there's a lot of work that's gone on, um, but I think putting the children at the centre of this work and making sure that we're keeping them safe is the most important thing I can do as a minister.